right, so the kickboxing world didn't have a whole lot more for this young athlete, so she crosses over into mixed martial arts, and the results have certainly been there in the UFC thus far. The kickboxing was fun, but she wants that green dollar. <laughs> she came to the UFC to get paid, and that's exactly what she has been done. She has been a bonus machine, knocking people out and taking them out. She wants to win fights standing, and she wants to be exciting. That is exactly what she has done, and with her skill set, she can replicate that time and time again. And she really is a joy to watch, right? When she starts switching stances with the footwork, great defensively, attacks the body. She's got a beautiful kickboxing game, and she is looking to display those skills to the world on the biggest stage of her career here tonight. So here she is, Bate Estaca, Jessica Andrade. It was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John, and she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most fighters aren't knocking them out with one punch was possessed by Jessica Andrade. And being in Rio and watching her win that title, you truly felt the enormity of the moment as Andrade got her hand raised and the belt wrapped around her waist. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 135 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andrade. Or kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, Marina Rodriguez. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jessica Batista. Herb Dean is your referee. Wait, wait. He's the third man in the wait. octagon tonight. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights, and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, oh. but this venue will always have a special place for you. Well, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are trading strikes, and both are landing at will. Yeah, edge of your seat action. We expected it to be good. These women are delivering. Just messed with that right hand. Rodriguez's eye is closing up. Just out of range with that left hook. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Man, she's worth the price of admission. This fight is just getting underway, and Jessica Andrade, the bull that she is, already just throwing away with hooks left her. I love her. <laughs> I love the way that she fights now because she leaves nothing to be desired. She goes forward. Oh! Rodriguez getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Oh, what a strike she just landed there from the bottom. Side control. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her. Oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job 
of finding such a massive shot. Oh, oh, right here. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the shot. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. All right, so watch for her to set up that hook here again. We were in our fighter meeting on Thursday. She said the fans are starting to call her Madam Lynn. Oh! Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fighter. Great recognition in the grappling transition. Way to maintain that guard. Lands another strike there. She's got it going on tonight, and the swelling on her opponent starting to get pretty bad now. It's getting, it's getting bad. I mean, she's got to address it. She's got to change something up. Maybe shoot for a takedown. You cannot stay upright with this lady. She's too good in the stand -up. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool. Kind of shaking her head. Thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spent any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter. And she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Second Go. round underway. Andrade gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her. So how about it, folks? A huge result for her. She gets the TKO here tonight, and this is a celebration that you can be sure is going to continue deep into the night. What is what she expected? She expected to finish this fight. That's exactly what she did. The party's going to be off the hook because she has planned for it all week. What a phenomenal performance by this young lady. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Marina Henriquez! All right, there she is. Big win by TKO tonight. And really, everything she said to us in our fighter meeting on Thursday came to fruition here on Fight. Oh, yeah, she made it happen. She willed it into existence.